Uh, I'm Ted Chicoso, and we're talking about gut microbiota. Gut microbiota has become a hot topic today, especially because it is now being treated as another organ in the body. And it affects so many things in our body, like our mood, our skin, our responses to infections, um, our irritability, and our um, behavior towards other people. Uh, it's actually um, a complex way that it affects the skin, but it's usually through the immune system. For example, if your uh, gut is inflamed, so what happens is that uh, it uh, begins to absorb certain things it shouldn't be absorbing. Your body develops an allergic response to them, and the allergic response to them is manifested through the skin. So you can have an easy allergy to uh, skin irritants, and that's because your skin becomes hyperactive to it. But more seriously, um, for example, psoriasis has now been shown to be linked to the presence of what's called a dysbiosis or uh, an even or a pathologic distribution of gut bacteria. The newest studies show that uh, gut dysbiosis or a maldistribution of uh, gut bacteria is actually highly linked to Alzheimer's disease. And one of the more common mechanisms that uh, is used to explain it is the existence of uh, what's called molecular inflammation. So when your immune system starts acting up and starts inflaming your gut, and starts, um, you start absorbing things that should not be absorbed in your body. There's a thing called cross-reaction, meaning your body mistakes uh, what is supposed to be there for something foreign, and that con uh, will, the body will consider it as an attack on your cells. And um, you can have things like, uh, for example, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and all of these uh, diseases that usually start from uh, some sort of molecular inflammation. There is a well-known study, and uh, people are trying to debunk it, but uh, the, one of the major studies that was done was the ratio of a, a group of bacteria called Bacteroidetes and another group of bacteria called Firmicutes. Apparently, when the Firmicutes are, um, you have too much of them, then you extract calories um, more efficiently from your food, and therefore you get fat more quickly. So there's what's called the Firmicutes to Bacteroidetes ratio, which you can look at and sort of like, do my bacteria make me fat? Yeah, they can make you fat.